Well, hello there. I guess you're here for the Q&A. So let's start. Right, first question is from Marcus and he's asking, what's your worst wipeout story? So my worst one was actually last year. Um, I had it pretty bad, I had a concussion. And um, yeah, that was pretty bad. I was snowboarding with my wife, uh, going down probably a blue slope. It wasn't too bad, but it was my first year snowboarding. So yeah, uh, I hit my head pretty hard. Uh, I caught an edge, my front edge. Uh, I did like a full roll. Then I banged my head and I had like a concussion for like a week. That was pretty bad. Um, so yeah, he's also, he's also asking uh, how do the locals treat visitors or foreigners living there on work visas? So um, that's a very specific question, how they treat people on work visas. Um, they do like foreigners. Uh, most people are very welcoming and lovely and mostly they are, they are just curious about foreigners. So yeah, they are really nice. Um, so if you, if you come here, you're gonna have a warm, warm welcome. It does, doesn't really matter where you go in China, everywhere, everywhere there's, there's nice people and they, they're gonna welcome you. All right, uh, next question is from Callum. Now he's asking, what made you want to do YouTube videos? Um, so, so I had this idea for, for quite a few years now actually, and um, I was living in the UK, but I didn't really have anything to, to video or film or, or make videos about, so I kind of put off that idea. And I've been in China for almost two years, and I just decided that it's probably a good idea to, to do it and share it with people because there's not a lot of um, foreigners doing YouTube videos in China. So um, I've decided probably it's a good idea to, to jump on that and uh, see where it goes. Okay, so the next one is from Ray and he's asking, what's the best part of China for tourists? Um, honestly, all China is, is just a big tourist spot in my opinion. Um, I've been to Beijing a couple of times. Um, I do like that one. Um, I've been to Harbin, Changchun, Shenyang. Those are all nice places. Um, I mean, the, the biggest one, the fir first thing that comes into, into people's mind is, is probably Beijing. So I would say go to Beijing, Great Wall, Tiananmen Square, you know, see, see the, the most important things that other people recommend. Um, just watch out for scammers like Tiananmen Square, um, Great Wall, those, those are just full of scammers and they will try to like, you know, pull you into like tea houses or like restaurants and, you know, make you pay like a super expensive bill. So yeah, definitely watch out for those. Uh, also shout out to Ray and his YouTube channel Vacation Impossible. So I'm going to put a link down below. Um, also shout out to Marcus as well. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel called Ace Me Jack. So link down below as well. Okay, next one is from Succulent Penguino. Now he is asking, why did you start your channel? Um, same reason, uh, like I said um, two questions ago. So I wanted to show people what it like living in China, what it like snowboarding here, um, what's the scene like. So um, hopefully people are gonna like it. We see where it goes. Okay, next one is from Clutchmaster R6. What's your special motivation that keeps you going to make YouTube videos? Um, I just want to show people what it's like. I don't, I don't think of it as a job, I think of it as a hobby. And um, as long as you do it that way, I think that's, that's, how you, that's how you enjoy it. If you think about it as a job, you're gonna, you're gonna lose that motivation to, to do the videos. All right. Um, I sub Buddy is asking, hello friend, my question is, what is the most intense part about your life in China? Language. Right, let me give a detailed answer on that one. So language is pretty intense, mostly because I'm too lazy to learn it properly. So um, yeah, language is probably the hardest thing that comes into my mind when, when we talk about China, why it's intense or difficult. So yeah, language. Okay, 
Demon Core is asking, how does it make Chinese people feel that lots of them are immigrating to other countries? Okay, so I actually asked my wife um, a couple of months ago about this and my in-laws as well. And um, most Chinese people are very happy that others are, you know, going out and trying to make a better life for themselves. Of course, you're going to have people saying that, oh, you shouldn't go, you're Chinese, you should stay in China, and China is like the best country on earth, and why do you want to go to like Canada, Australia, any Western country where, you know, politics are different and all that. So, yeah, there's, there's definitely two sides. I think there's more people that are supportive. So, um, yeah, Chinese people are pretty open about moving to other countries, I think. They're definitely more open than, than Westerners to, to live in other countries in another country and also shout out to Demon Core uh, I'm gonna put his YouTube channel link down below okay so next question is from Sergeant Crumpet and he's asking what steps did you take to successfully move to another country how much did you save up to do so um, well I had to find a job that was the most important one so I found a job through an agency. Uh, they sorted my visa, my housing. Uh, they helped with the flight tickets as well. Uh, how much did you save up to do so? So I saved up about 1,400 British pounds. I don't exactly know how much that is in, in US dollars. I'm gonna put it somewhere down there. Um, so yeah, I saved up about 1,400. That was enough. I calculated that that should be enough for about two months of living and if I need to get an emergency plane ticket I can do that so yeah uh, definitely have a plan B if uh, things go south um, have like a plan B you know if you, if you need to like get out as soon as possible have enough money so you can you can fly back home and you know you can be safe okay next one Vita ZHD asking, why China? Um, I was bored in the UK. I just had a crap job. I wanted to see something new. My plan was to stay in China for about a year, see what it's like, work here, probably travel. Then I ended up getting married and I've been here for almost two years. So the reason why China is because of the money. Um, I think your money can go a lot further here. You can you can afford you know more things with the same amount of money, which is a huge difference. Like back back in the UK or, or back in Europe, I, I wouldn't be able to afford snowboarding or anything like that. So that's definitely a positive why China was on my list. All right, key explanation asking: soon to be married to a Chinese citizen here in the U.S. What province are you living in? You mentioned snowboarding, so I'm assuming northeast by Harbin or far western China. How is your Mandarin skills? Um, so I live in Jilin province, which is northeast. Um, it's about three hours drive from Harbin. Um, how's your Mandarin skills? So I went to university for six months to study. That didn't go too well. Um, on my final exams, I failed two out of five. I passed on three, which is, you know, if you think about it, that's what, 60% overall. But yeah, I failed on two, so I'm not too happy about that. Um, Senon Sonics asking, hello, are you concerned about social scores and mass surveillance? They now track everything you do online and offline. Millions were denied public transport for bad social scores. Are you a Chinese citizen? Okay, so, Yes, I am concerned because everybody has has a right to their to their privacy, and you know, people shouldn't go into into other people's lives and look into their stuff. However, if it's for a person's safety, I can kind of understand why they do that. Also, millions were denied public transport for bad social scores. Now, I'm assuming these people were talking bad things about. The Chinese government or they were too political which is something that you know you can't really do here you can't really express like the bad things yeah so that's down that Laura's asking what would you say are the biggest cultural differences between UK and China um, so 
privacy, like I said, money, and how they treat people. So privacy is because everybody wants to know what you're up to, what you're doing, how much you earn, where do you live, what's your job, are you married, do you have any kids? So yeah, everybody wants to know everything about you. Um, money is just the way people treat money. I think people are more careful here with their money and they really think about what they spend it on um, and also how they treat people. So, like I said, foreigners are getting, you know, pretty nice treatment here. Like every foreigner that comes here, they, they go away with a positive experience. So nobody goes away saying like, oh, I don't like China. People are so bad. They were so unwelcoming. So yeah, definitely the, uh, the how they treat people. In the West, I think people are more cautious about each other and um, yeah. So how they treat people is a lot different here. Moreno2729 is asking, are soup dumplings popular where you live? Do you eat them? Well, I guess it's popular during winter time because it's a hot dish. Um, I'm personally not a huge fan. I prefer normal dumplings or fried dumplings. Uh, Sparta Blocks asking, how free slash open is the internet there? What big sites can't you visit, if any? So you can't visit YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So like the big social sites. Um, so if you want to check any of those or go onto YouTube like I do, you need a VPN. Um, you can get free ones if you don't want to pay for it, but those are not super reliable. Um, the, the internet is actually pretty strict, like adult content, there's zero, you can't find any, any anything like that. Also like other like news sources or media sources, they're also pretty regulated, so can't really do that. Is two to three million people a small city in China? Uh, I guess so. I mean, Harbin has about 10 million people, including the rural areas as well. Beijing is close to 20 million or something like that, Shanghai as well. So two to three million people in, in, a, in a city in China, I think that's, that's a fairly small city by my standards. Okay, so that was the last question. So yeah, that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below or you can send me a message on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever you can, whatever you can find me. Uh, make sure to subscribe, share the video. Um, all the shout outs were done. So your links are down below guys. Uh, check them out. They have some amazing channels going on. So yeah, definitely check those out and I will see you guys in the next one.